Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Just go to YouTube and type AC2 by Chandrasekhar. You will get my tutorial. AWS EC2 tutorial for beginners by Chandrasekhar. Please subscribe for more updates. So last session we discussed about branching. So how to create the branch, how to rename the branch, how to push all your local branches to the remote repository and how to commit this on all we discussed in the previous session. And today's session we'll discuss about tags. Why you need to create the tags and uh, what is the difference between the branch and tag? So branch is mutable. That means once we can create, we can rename it and that means we can modify. What, uh, what about tag? So tags are immutable. Once we create, we cannot change or modify. So in case of branch, so it is another line of development. If you check with a tag, after production releases, then only we can create the tag. So from which branch we can create the tag? So from the master branch only we can create the tag so there are uh, we are going to deploy the code from production from master branch only so that we can create from the master branch only so currently there are zero tags if you click on the tag icon so there is no tags available in the remote repository you can go to git bash which is my I click and open git bash here. Can make it some bigger so that you can see. Yeah. Clear. Now you can check by typing the git tag. So if any available tags are there or not. There are two tags available in the local repository. Let me delete it. Git tag hyphen D. So dev 1.0 deleted. So we'll do one more time. 2.0 deleted. So we can check now. Git tag. There are no tags available. Please raise a question if we have any doubts in the chat box or uh, through mail. So we can clear this, well, you can keep it uh, for your reference, and we can create the tag now using the git tag command git tag tag name this is the syntax for your tag while creating i'm giving yes yes so dev 1.0 you have to follow the naming conventions while creating the tag so that is for best practices otherwise um, there is a mismatch welcome i'm creating one tag will create it Create one more time. Dev 2.0. Yes. Now we can clear it and check git tag. So we created two tags with CSR dev 1.0 and CSR dev 2.0. These are the two tags available in the local repository. Now I want to push all these tags to get remote repository for that you need to use it is similar like a git branching commands git push origin hyphen hyphen tag this will push all the tags from local repository to your git remote repository Yes, 
enumerating objects learned done delta compression there are new tags available in the csr dev 1.0 csr dev 2.0 if you go and check git remote repository so earlier there is no tag available now we will refresh this see it is reflected here csr dev 1.0 csr dev 2.0 there are two tags available while creating the tag it will make the zip put bundle or coffee it will create zip as well as a tar dot teacher file in the tags that is the extension which will follow here in the remote repository for your tags Now we will check with the other commands like we can create the tags from command line and uh, now we created the tags using the command line uh, even we can go to git repository and we will create from there also it is possible and let me show you so currently we are in uh, tags okay so go to the git check while after login you should go to your branch master branch so you have to create the tags from the master branch only because you have all the code from all the code from master branch they are going to deploy so that you need to create the tag from master branch so click on the tags there are two tags available check the release button so there are two tags and if you want to create the tag from the git you can use draft new release you can click this it is asking tag version csr dev csr dev 2.1 I'm making it and uh, please select the target as a master then publish release to that yes at the 2.1 created See? click on the tags button now three tags available here and it is verified So we created from the command line as well as the git repository. Now we will talk about stash git stash. It will display how many backups are are there in the local repository. Git stash command. It will display the backup of your current working copy or current. or carrier no local changes to save so that means there are no backups available in local repository we can type ls check we can modify this using the vi editor press i can modify modify the content escape colon w it will save the content now you can check git stash command your working directory and the index state vip wip and master so you can check the git status branch master so if uh, it is already saved the backup so you can check by applying the that backup so you are done with the development and you have to uh, go to work again with the 
previous i mean current working copy you can type git stash apply command it will go to the previous where the backup is uh, available and uh, that will take the backup as a current working copy so git stash apply in branch master you can check the status Get the status the modified file is available here so this is the git stash so it's mainly used for creating the backup copy of your working directory or working area you can display the git stash list how many backups are there it will show so there is only one backup copy so i want to create one more backup copy you can use uh, other one also when you apply it will switch back to the dev branch when you execute this command that means uh, suppose if you are working in the another branch if you want to switch from the uh, other branch to the dev branch you will use the git dash apply command clear it git status git commit Type the status. Branch mention working tree is clean and it is done. Git stash drop. Suppose if you want, there are multiple backups. If you want to get back to the uh, specified uh, tag, you need to specify git stash. There are multiple backups. If you want to switch from other branch to the dev branch again, you need to apply with specify branch. Apply dash with the backup copy. It means you need to specify the index number in the just so that it means it will revert back to the. I mean, it will switch back to the dev environment. So right now there is only one backup copy. Git status. Yes, git. If you want to drop that backup copy, use git stash drop. Git stash drop. If it is not there, it will give some message, drop reference. So it is there, so it will it is a drop the message. And clear it and I'll check the status git dash no local change to save. This is how you want to work with the git dash command. The final thing is you want to switch from the backup and it will drop within the single command by using the git stash pop command you can change it you can modify using the variator okay colon w it will save the Content of the file. Now we can check git dash. There is a backup copy. You want to switch back to that backup copy, and you can check the status git and branch master. I can trace clean. You want to switch to the working copy to use git stash pop so the uh, pop command it will apply and delete the recent one and if you want to specify that means 
uh, whatever the change recent changes it will apply and drop as well it's test see it's test of so modified java no change added to coming we can check the git status command now what mod file file is there it is not committed yet git commit hyphen we'll check the content of the file in the remote repository first master java file this is allowable only still so we haven't pushed yet now git commit hyphen m hyphen a hyphen m git test sample it is committed git push origin we are committing to the remote repository and master need to put some reference so that means we haven't uh, pulled that uh, all the link here is git Status branch master working trace clean. Okay, now can use one more backup again. Ls I dot java file can edit again. to buy okay escape colon wq escape colon wq we'll see if the data check the content of that file okay now we can clear it Say git commit from master and committed git 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 push origin master. It will push all your changes to remote repository. Start branch. Then it will show some error message if it is not. Yes, rejected file master fetch first. Need to fetch the files from master link to fill the request. Three tags available. Git tag. There are two tags available. Need to check how many tags are available. Git tag hyphen origin hyphen hyphen tag. It 
it with push your tags to the remote repository and let's say like it tag it will display available list and you want to push specified tag you need to use git tag tag name git push origin tag and specify the tag name so that you will push your tag to the specified tag to the remote repository check the git status everything and let it done so that's all from today well, let me check what we discussed today and summarize everything Till now, what we discussed, Git introduction, GitHub admin, administration, Git commands. There are few commands left. We will discuss later. And dot Git ignore file. Creating the branches, branches, tags. Till now, we have discussed this. In the upcoming session, we will discuss in the remaining portion of the topic. So, branches and tags are done today. For releases, we can change how many tags available. There are three tags available. If you have any queries, please post it and we will subscribe to my channel. Easy to buy things, you will get in the top list. Thank you. Thank you.